Hello and welcome to ATN World News. I'm Leah, and it's great to be with you, the viewers around the world. Today we have with us Bob Leone and Melissa Goad. They work with Inspire Works Production, that's their company. They produce Christian-based, high-quality entertainment that is biblically grounded. Now, their recent work is called, very interesting title, They Don't Cast Shadows. Wow, that's so interesting. I'd like to say good evening, guys. How are you doing? We're doing fine. Good, yes, thank you. <laughs> Listen, I'm always excited about quality entertainment for the Christian field. That's something that has been difficult in the past, and you are also doing a modern theme that will engage people in the reality uh, of the truth of spiritual warfare and things. Uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about that. Well, the story is based on the book I wrote, and it's called They Don't Cast Shadows, and it's about a girl that is not saved. She is a non-Christian, but she has a, her best girlfriend is a Christian. And what she does is she keeps trying to get her to go to church, trying to get her to go to church, and she won't go. She just doesn't see any use for it until she start her um, her parents become demon possessed, and they sell her her favorite horse that she raised from a little colt. And so she gets all upset, and then she decides to go to church with her girl, her friend Tina. And when she goes to church to the youth group. Uh, she hears the gospel, and she gets saved. And when she gets saved, her eyes are opened up like in, in, in 2 Kings chapter 6, where she could see demons and she could see angels. And she finds out from her guardian angel that the town is overrun with demons, and there's a spiritual warfare going on all around. Nobody has seen it, and, um, but, she, but there, it's influencing the town. It's a uh, wrecking church. There's church splits because of the demons. There's been fires because of the demons. There become a lot of things because of these demons that are that are um, attacking the town. And so it's up to her to get rid of them. She doesn't know what to do. She's a baby Christian. So uh, her she finds uh, her love interest, uh, Jason, who's the youth leader, who's also uh, going to become a pastor someday. That's his goal. And um, so him and her and the angels get together and pastor and they figure out a way to fight these demons. Yeah, Lisa uh, was given when she was saved spiritual insight to be able to see or sight to be able to see angels and demons. So um, she's the only one that in this whole story that can actually see these angels, angels and demons. Um, so the town really kind of depends on her to fight off these demons. Well, as I was saying earlier, you know, people, uh, I don't know why they would want to, because there's so much um, grief with life itself, but some people want to see horror and uh, go to things like that. I'm going, wow, do you know the reality of the demonic kingdom? They are horrible, you know, and this is reality. And if you want to see some kind of a monster, read about it. You know, read, read up on uh, what the Bible has to say about demonic entities and what they do. Be aware of spiritual warfare in high places, in different places. And so um, basically, uh, what is really nice also is that they're going to bring a high quality uh, to this film. It's something you can show your teenagers like they're just turning on the TV and it's, you know, just the same uh, type, same quality. Um, it can be a witnessing tool. It can be an effective uh, witnessing tool when it's done right. And you two seem to want to pay attention to close detail. I can tell that you're really focused, and that's just going to make a, a huge difference. Now, Inspire Works Production. Tell us a little bit about that company. Go ahead. Well, uh, Melissa had the company a long time ago, back in 2007, and then she got married and things happened, and she sort of dropped it. Well, my business partners and I kind of, we Dissolved all went different it. directions. Yeah, one moved to New York, I moved to Seattle, one was in LA. Um, and so we kind of dissolved the company just because it was kind of impossible at the time. And we all had different families going on and stuff. So it's just kind of impossible to keep it going. Um, so then Bob and I met at church <laughs> and mm -hmm. he had me read his book uh, a little over a year ago. Yeah, 
And um, I read it and I was like, wow, this should be, this should be turned into a movie. It's really good. It reminds <laughs> me of, you know, Twilight, but the Christian version of it. And um, so a couple months later, he's like, why don't we do that? Why don't we make it into a movie? And I was like, okay, well, we need to start a production company. And so we reformed, we recreated Inspireworks Productions. And um, we got the trailer up and running. Um, and then God's God's hand was in, was in this whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, there were so many things that happened. Um, there was a lot of prayer that went into it. Absolutely. And a lot of things, went, a lot of things happened. Like, for example, all the locations we got, we got them all for free. When we were filming the trailer. Right, when we were filming the trailer. So all the locations were free. And most people want something, but all these people volunteered. You know, they said, oh, yeah, okay. Also, it was raining. Uh, we did this in November. So it was raining for a couple of days. And we were on a Zoom meeting with the crew. And uh, one of them brought up saying, well, what, what's the contingency plan for it to if it rains? And Melissa said, there is no contingency. We're just going to pray about it. And for the three days that we were shooting, it was all sunny, night, beautiful weather. Yeah, got and it. So, and so a lot of little things like that. One, one place we were shooting at, um, at a house, and it went, it went really smooth. And we were talking, and they said that, okay, this is luck. They said, You're, it's lucky that the neighbor wasn't there because a neighbor phones the police on every little thing that happens. And I said, it wasn't luck. It's the Lord. The Lord was protecting us from this whole thing. There were, there were just so many things that happened at that. Um, uh, up, at, uh, up at this one place where we had a cage, we had bought a cage. And it was a, it was a, it was a large dog cage. And that's what we we're going to use. So we went up on location. And we we're going climbing up this hill and all that. And then there was a perfect cage right there. A big is an old chicken coop. But it looked really scary. And... Mm -hmm. So everybody said, that's it. That's the one. So we use that instead. So there's there's a lot more things that happened. It was just so many things that the Lord blessed us with. And um, so it was fun. It was fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, Listen, it's, it really sounds like it. And um, people, uh, you in the audience, listening audience, you know, um, I really know what these two are going through. Because as you remembered, we had uh, a Christian, Hollywood Christian film producer on our team, Richard Shaw. We did the Torah codes and other works, and we talked so many nights about the nuts and bolts behind a good quality production. These two can use your prayer, and also in distribution, also in um, people uh, working with them. Uh, I'd like uh, you to give our audience uh, a place they can go to to follow up and know when your movie's going to be uh, coming out. Sure. Uh, our website is InspireWorks productions.com and we give we have all the updates and we update everything mm -hmm. on on that website you can also follow us on instagram um inspireworks underscore productions we're also on facebook under inspireworks productions um and then we have our indiegogo campaign too right oh that sounds great so people you can definitely uh follow up know when the release is going to be and I'm excited to see it. And uh, listen, we're going to be praying for you, and we're hoping for many new projects in the future because uh, you have such a high-quality, gifted talent that's it's hard to do what you're doing. And to see you use it to your highest and best potential, your gift, is so exciting to see that really happen. You know, it's just, I'm in media, and I find it very exciting, so I'm looking forward to it. And listen, I want to thank you for taking out your time Melissa, Bob, for uh, being with us tonight and sharing with the audience what you're involved with. I mean, uh, we're really looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you, Leah. We, we appreciate you having us on. And until next time, I'm Leah reminding you that God loves you.